board. And... All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. So we have the S550 right here. We actually have the GMC truck we're actually going to be taking because we got to take some new parts over to Unleash Motorsports. So shout out to Joe from Unleash Motorsports because we're going to have to take this box right here. We also have this container over here, which is obviously a splitter, if you could tell right there. We also have this deck lid over here and uh, hardware right there and a few other things, I believe. And this is definitely why I bought the truck. So that way we don't have to struggle trying to jam things into little cars. So just pulled up back over here at Unleashed Motorsports. I'm gonna go ahead and start unloading this, these two big things right here. And then we have a few little smaller things inside. The Dark Horse is somewhere in there, but we're gonna go ahead and actually be opening two products from 77 Performance. As you're gonna see, this is the actually the carbon fiber deck lid, which came nicely packaged. I already unscrewed it right here. Yeah, this one on the other hand is actually the gt4 profile one so these are actually going to go ahead and be going on the dark horse so i'm very excited so actually shout out to their packaging on how they actually do this it's actually pretty crazy that is crazy though over here wrapping this uh tesla truck so we got the dark horse in here where we're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff installed as well So we got the RTR splitters right here. Very, very nice. I love the quality, very OEM. I love how nice everything's packaged as well though. Easy. So we got the lip officially on now. It's nice with the actual logo right here, the 777. So the first step over here to actually get the 777 carbon deck lid on, you gotta remove the dark horse. And actually to put it back on, you don't have to put it back on, but I definitely want to. You just have to cut the pins off. So that way you can just kind of lay it back on there. So once you actually open it up, you can see this is one piece. The other piece is actually over there getting ready to get mounted. Do it again. Just rip out everything off. <laughs> that shit probably will not rip off now. Yeah, it literally says on the thing, once it's placed, it's, it's placed. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Damn, I was on there. Really, really. That's crazy. How it lines up, right? Yeah. Literally, like, stock. So, coming over here to this side, which they haven't put it on yet, that is the biggest difference right there. That's nice. So, the emblem is back on there now. Go ahead and see with all the carbon it looks really really good and it definitely makes the rear end have a different look to it a lot more aggressive i would say oh yeah dude that thing looks way more aggressive now that's laid on the ground <laughs> it does damn So I'm not gonna lie, I am super happy with it. It was running a lot of the day today, so I definitely wanna take this thing out, go get some more pictures of this, cause it looks really, really good. I'm actually very, very happy with it. So we're actually back at home. You go ahead and see how the actual splitters came out. Again, super happy with the car overall right now. And the carbon definitely adds that extra little flavor right there on the back end. So definitely stay tuned because we're actually gonna go ahead and tint these lights. Uh, we did get some from Anchor Room, so stay tuned for those. Uh, they are coming in, so that way we can kind of black out the back to make it just look a little bit more aggressive. We're also gonna be blacking out the side markers right there and up here. And I'm still debating if we're gonna put anything at all in the front, just because I really do like how the housing looks from factory. So this splitter is actually a prototype. So I'm very, very happy 777 was actually able to get this out to me. Uh, I believe it's not on the website yet. Last time I checked, it might be by the time you're watching this video, but as of right now, it's not. And I've actually been looking for a splitter for a while for the Dark Horse, it's actually picked it up. But it was actually pretty difficult to find one that was for a Dark Horse non-handling package because the handling package comes with the extension. So there was really no reason for aftermarket companies to jump on that just yet. And the ones that were, were out were actually over like $1,000. So I, I definitely was not going to do that. Okay, but definitely if it's on the website, go check it out. But I've got to say this car looks a lot more aggressive now with the extension and the slip. And this actually could be the last Q50 video. But we do have the new Valgen wheel right here. It's actually going to go ahead and be replacing the cracked one, which I'll actually go ahead and show you guys the crack real quick. All right, so if you guys actually look right here where my thumb is, you can see the crack. Obviously a little bit more at this angle. But pretty much not holding air at that point because of that crack. 
Luckily, Belgian did actually have these in stock, so we were actually able to order it, no problem at all. But now we're gonna go ahead and actually throw it on. The only problem I actually been having was going through the insurance. So hopefully uh, I can just get that money back from the insurance at some point. Right now we've been going back and forth with them. So I just really need this on because as you guys know, since we got the truck and the new family car and more than likely not about 99% sure we're selling the actual Q50. So we definitely need to put this on. And you guys can go ahead and save this now, but this is the specs we're actually running. Uh, so for the people that are already asking for that fitment, that's what we got. But let's go ahead and open this thing up. And I believe I kind of took a peek already just to make sure, but here we go. Sheesh, that thing looks so damn clean. So now that we got the new one, I'm gonna try to do this one hand. It shouldn't be actually too heavy because basically it's just forged. And... I guess there's no point in having this box on here. Damn. At least the plastic protected it. All right, let's go ahead and pull this up. Obviously you guys haven't caught on, this is actually the old one, but that is crazy, that crack, how far it actually is. So technically you could get these welded, but at the end of the day, this was supposed to be on the family car. Uh, so I wasn't gonna go ahead and do that. We obviously bought the new one over here. But I'm probably just gonna keep this wheel to just hang somewhere or do something with it, I don't know. But it still does look really nice, even after dropping it on its face. All right, so if you guys made it to this part of the video, again, I am honestly not one to ruin surprises, but I will go ahead and explain uh, just about the Dark Horse. Obviously, we have the Infinity back on all four Valgens. So the Shelby wheel is finally off this thing, and now we have all four Valgens back on here, which looks really, really good. Now back to the Dark Horse. Obviously, you guys go ahead and see there is no Dark Horse here. Reason being, it's actually back at the shop. But because you guys made it to the end of this video, I'll go ahead and tell you guys what's going on, just briefly, because obviously that's gonna have its own video of the whole explanation. But long story short, uh, it's supposed to be getting bagged, so yes, we're bagging the dark horse. However, uh, we did have some issues with the parts, uh, and pretty much we're just waiting on that. But we're also waiting on wheels as well, so we may end up throwing on some temporary wheels. Uh, we're pretty much just dealing with it day by day, trying to see what's the best solution. But primarily, we need to get that car back on the road, one, to be completely safe, as well as to be able to produce that content and share those experiences with you guys. We also did take it to LA. We were able to get a prototype of something there that you guys will never expect because I would never have thought myself doing it. Um, I always kind of wanted to, but with that being said, you guys will definitely be in for a shock. But that's pretty much it, so definitely consider subscribing and staying tuned for all that because there is a lot to come. Uh, but again, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Oh.